And <laughs> hello, guys. Hi, <laughs> How are you? <laughs> I am wonderful. And I just want to start by saying thank you for the great eye-opening documentary. My name is Polly Murray. I mean, it makes me embarrassed. I'm a, you know, I'm a self-proclaimed civil rights activist, but I had no idea who Polly Murray was until your documentary. Don't be embarrassed, Manny. Really, <laughs> you are not alone. Uh, many, many people who do not know about Polly Murray because, hey, we weren't taught about Polly in high school or in college or anywhere. So we're very happy to be part of the discovery of Polly Murray. Now let's begin with you, Miss Betsy. I suspect that you made Polly Murray the subject of your documentary, right? From what you learned from your Oscar nominated documentary, RBG, am I right? Yes, RBG led us to Polly because RBG had put Polly's name on the cover of the first women's equality brief that she wrote for the Supreme Court, not because Polly co-authored it, but because RBG wanted to give Polly credit for coming up with what was at the time a kind of radical idea that women, as well as African Americans, could be protected by the Equal Protection Clause of the 14th Amendment, that women could get equality in this way. That was one of Polly's seminal legal ideas, and RBG, to her credit, gave Polly credit, and, and that kind of uh, opened the door for us to look into this extraordinary person. And Ms. Julie, how did you plan to create the documentary initially? I mean, what was your main edict in presenting this as an homage to the great Polly Murray? Yes, you know, our guiding principle was to make this documentary as close as to autobiographical as we could get, to put Polly's story in Polly's own words at every opportunity. We were helped tremendously in that effort, actually, by Polly Murray, who had had the good sense and the prescience to save everything you know, drafts of legal papers, letters, journals, and photographs, and even more than that, audio tapes and even videotapes that allowed us to piece together Polly's story as Polly saw it during Lifetime. But here's the thing though, I mean, I, I, for those watching at home, I don't want to mislead you. Just like RBG, this documentary is not just smart, but it's also heartfelt and entertaining and you know knowing this the life of this fantastic icon um but i miss betsy though what was your biggest biggest discovery about polly murray ah uh, wow there were so many discoveries of the role that polly played first in the civil rights movement early on in influencing thurgood marshall's uh thinking about separate but equal uh, which was uh, really the state of the law for African Americans uh, for decades and accepted that, uh, oh, let's just make sure we get the equal. It can be separate, but let's get the equal. And it was Polly who said in a thesis written in you know 1943, hey, separate but equal by very definition is impossible. If it's separate, it can't be equal. It's degrading, it's demeaning. Polly was laughed at for that, for that idea. And yet 10 years later, it became part of the Brown v. Board of Education brief and the victory. Uh, so that to me was a pretty thrilling discovery, but you know, there's so many parts of Polly's story that we could just rattle on you know, like. Right. Mine was coming from the Catholicism point of view. I didn't know that she was considered a saint in the Episcopal community. So that's yeah. what I But may I have one, one final question though, for both of you? Maybe we'll start with you, Miss Betsy. Why do we need someone like Polly Murray right now? Um, Polly is extremely relevant, I believe, right now. Uh, at a time when we are re-examining our history, uh, looking at how we have you know, racism that continues systematically, how we've had violence against African Americans. This is something that Polly was facing. She speaks to this so directly. Um, I think that Polly's story couldn't be more timely. You agree, Ms. Julie? Uh, I agree, absolutely. I mean, every element of Polly Murray's story from the fight for racial equality, the fight for women's equality, the fight for labor rights, and the 
at the time not expressed uh, d deep desire for there to be a possibility to, to love who one wants and also to be who one wants feels even more relevant now than it did during yeah. Polly's lifetime. And it's, I kind of think that's why it's such a beautiful and revelatory story to, to dive into. It was, it was really kind of a thrill for us to make it. And we hope that audiences find it a thrill to watch as well. I think they will. And so once again, a big congrats. And thank you again for opening my eyes uh, to the fantastic Polly Murray. And now everyone can also enjoy her on Amazon September 17th. So I love that. Thank you. Thank you so much, you guys. Good luck on everything, okay? Thank, thank you, Manny. <laughs>